It's actually above freezing today. Figured I'd go fishing. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of me acting like I'm smarter than you. Today's episode of Huge Fly Fisherman is about how to get your flies back when you're stuck on rocks. Has that ever happened to you? Just say yes. Of course it has, happens to everyone. If you're fishing nymphs the right way, they're gonna be near the bottom of the river and occasionally you're gonna get hung up on rocks. It happens, it's just part of fishing. If you're not getting stuck on rocks, you're not fishing deep enough. This is where the Euronymph guys are gonna tell me I'm wrong because you're supposed to fish the whole water column. Yeah, whatever. Just zip it, I don't wanna hear it. We're talking about a basic nymph rig here. So getting stuck on rocks and hopefully getting unstuck is just something you'll have to learn to deal with. When you do get stuck on rocks, you could just break off your flies and retie your rig. But for some of you, retying a double nymph rig might take 30 minutes. 30 minutes is way too long, but we won't get into that right now. Practice your knots. So the very first thing you should do after you get hung on the bottom and you've determined that it's not an enormous trout is holler at your boy to come on over with the camera. You wanna back up a little, let some line out, lean into it and bend that rod, boom, cover shot. You're welcome. Once you get the cover shot out of the way, you can try to get your flies back. You could try a steady pull, don't break your tippet. You can try bouncing it a little bit, try pulling from different angles. If you can feel it give a little bit, it's probably a stick and you're probably not gonna get your flies back. If bouncing and pulling from different angles doesn't work, it's time to get up water from that rock and pull on them from there. Yeah, up water. That's what we call it now. It's going to be a thing. The flies drifted into the rock from the up water side, so that's the way you have to pull them out. Pulling from down water usually doesn't work. They got to come out the same way they went in. Got that? This seems to be a tough concept for people to understand sometimes, or they're just too lazy to walk a few feet upstream. I think that's more likely. All right, maybe pulling from up water doesn't work. Then what? If you can, walk out to the flies. Yeah, you're going to spook the fish, but you want your flies back can be a tough call sometimes. So walk out there, reach down, see if you can feel your flies or kick your feet around and move the rocks and see if that'll get them loose. Or maybe none of that works and you can't walk out to your flies. So what do you do then? Well, the hugest way to get your flies unstuck from a rock is to use a roll cast. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't work at all. But when it does work, you're gonna look like you really know what you're doing out there. It's like a super cool trick. Using the roll cast to get your flies back works best if you're directly down water from the rock. No, I don't mean downstream. I mean down water. So get down water, pull out a little extra line, make that roll cast and throw that loop up in front of the rock and that should hopefully get your flies out. Maybe not. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, well, might be time to break those flies off. So how do you do that? There's actually a technique for that. I'm going to tell you. Reel up all your slack, point your rod directly at the rock. You don't want any bend in your rod. Put all the tension on the line. Now turn your head away so when it comes loose you don't get hit with anything and then steadily pull or back up until it breaks free. You'll either get your flies back or break your tippet. Well, and if you do break your flies off, it's okay. Now it's time to sit on the bank, crack a beer, retie your rig, then get back out there and get stuck on the same rock on your very next cast. Piece of cake. And there you have it. That's how to get your flies back from a rock, hopefully. As always, thank you for watching another one of my silly videos. Maybe consider giving a like and subscribing to the channel. I will see you next Monday with another video. Now you know what's coming, right? Stay huge. I can't feel my toes.